Hey guys, what's up? Nathan here, and today I'm giving you another Minecraft tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build a basic, stylish house. So we're going to start with just some wood. I'm going to show you all the stuff on wood first. Just so it's simple. We can mix out of anything you want, depending on what materials you have. But this is like surviving your first night in a way, also. So we're going to make it, I think it's five wide, because I'm narrating this at the moment. I think it's seven, seven long. And just build this up like that, and that's the first step. So I'll just do that without the narration. So then guys you want to put a door on. That's the first, like that's the next thing. And then you want to put um some pumpkin lanterns, but I'll go into that later because I said you can't put them like that. So also glowstone would be good as well. Glowstone's a vital thing I find because it brights it up so much, as you can see like that. And then you can go around your house putting some, like say so I put some here. So it's like the door, so you know where the door is probably. But yeah, that's the door and some lighting. And then you can go around and put some torches. I say I recommend putting torches in a pattern around the house because that makes it much more nice. And if you have like say torches two than one, it just doesn't go. So yeah, I'll just do this. So I said it looks. Uh, so yeah, I think I cut out and I come back. So yeah, guys, once that's done, the next thing's a sign. You know, every house should have a sign with their house on, so people will go online you can see it. So I just put Neef's, Neefin's house, or Neef's house, and that should do. Oh. Can't even write that properly. Ugh. Neef's house. Oh, so yeah, that's fine. So yeah, that's just a little sign done. Now there's just more kind of decoration on the outside to complete it. You have some pump jack o' lanterns, pumpkins, to give it some more brightness as well. And the next thing is, I like it quite a lot, is wooden slabs. They're half, like, a block... And it's going to be like a little kind of terrace thing, or kind of garden thing, but not really garden, but like... Yeah, like a terrace, I'd say. I didn't know the right word. And yeah, you just want to kind of like, put three blocks like down, something like that. That's a reasonable size for you just to like, sit down or whatever you have to do. Leave a little space for the door, and just do that like that. And that's all good. So once you've done that, you want to get some more wood or whatever material you like. And at the side bits of it, just put up maybe two or three blocks. It's not like a proper bit, it's like a little balcony. You can also put it out of glass, but um say I'm I'm showing you the basic, you, you can like change anything you want. A glass is probably a good thing actually. For like a front garden. So you, you don't want to close it off. It's up to you, but I would not recommend it. Then you want to put some fences, then your problem on wooden slabs is it puts it like that, but it's not that bad, you can't walk through it, so yeah. So you just do that. Then you want a fence gate in the middle, so you can't just run through, you have to open it up. And that's that done. Then you can shut it behind you. So the next step is some pressure plates, make it fancy, without having to use the effort of pressing the Z button, or whatever you have. And that's that bit done. And I think I go on about the roof now. Yep. And then, so you can put some more glowstone at the front, brightness. I found I like, it's recommended that you put it on the outside, so if you go mine, you can just come back and, um, you see it from a distance. I always have that problem. Yeah, then the next bit's a roof. I'm going to show you one type of roof, really, because said you c to get like a zigzag or triangle, you use um, stairs. But yeah, this is a kind of little 
thing out of glowstone so it looks bright. See how to do that now. So yep guys, that's done from the outside. Just a little kind of block difference, one block difference. So it looks quite cool actually I think. Now another thing I thought of is leaves. So it looks like trees. Maybe just put a block of leaves on top, like so. So it feels more like a garden experience. So yeah, let's just do that now. Now that is the finished house complete, actually. It's just more really. So yeah, I'll show you it at night later so you can see the true things. And I'm probably gonna show you later on the video I'll show you how to um now how to craft the materials you need. So yeah. You can use this whatever you want really guys, to be honest with you, because as I said, it's a good design to have for a start house and looks pretty cool, like a little kind of palace thing. But yeah, to get glowstone you want to go in a nether portal like so. You can see how to make one in detail in my other videos. And that gives you a glowstone block. And once you've done that, you need four bits of glowstone dust. And you want to put them in a square like shape like so. And that makes you a glowstone block. It makes you get quite a lot when you're in there because it doesn't really come out four to one. Not really good. For our door, you need six wooden planks, like so, and make a door. To get wooden planks, you just get wood by chopping down trees and then, like, change it into wooden planks. So yeah, once you've done that, you need torches, you put just a stick there and then a coal bit in the middle. Makes four torches, so that's pretty good. And I think that's everything. And that is, like, the materials you need. I recommend the glowstone, but it's quite hard to get but if you start off, but any torch or, say, pumpkins can do. So thanks for watching guys, this whole looks at dark, because I've got the running distance at um, short, you c it's just foggy, but see so yeah, at a decent distance you can see that there's a house there of some sort. So that's the whole video guys, as always, thanks and subscribe, nice little diamond block saying there. So thanks for watching guys, see you later.